Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 29th of March. I'm using the Art of Life Tarot for today's reading. Let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of. While I'm shuffling the cards, I just tune into the energy of the day. And these readings are for all signs of the zodiac, they're for everyone who watches. And I'm just asking the cards what the energy of the 29th is going to be all about. So let's see what the cards have to say on that. We have the Five of Swords, Judgment, and the Chariot. The Five of Swords is really about conflict and negative thinking. Judgment is coming back to life and letting go of the negative thinking and really being the person that you're meant to be. So I like this face in the moon here. You see yourself reflected in something external and you are being asked to become that. And then finally, the chariot is you embracing that purpose and going on your victory march. In this case, going on your balloon ride. So let's see what these cards want to say. Sometimes I go about pitying myself and all the time I'm being carried on great winds across the sky. So even if you can't do it for yourself, the universe will do it for you. If you're throwing a pity party for yourself because everything is so terrible and poor you, you just have it much harder in life than everyone else. I'm not making fun of that. I know what that feels like it's if you really truly believe that you know I'm the only person who suffers like this and no one else understands and why are other people so happy and why do they find everything so easy and here I am struggling and just I'm alone and I'm negative and I have no money and no one cares and I've been rejected and all of that. It's very easy to fall into that trap and to throw a pity party for yourself. And it's not attractive to other people. But when you're in that state, you don't care about other people. And laugh and the la world laughs with you. Cry and you cry alone. It applies to that situation. Because when you're feeling that down and out, you give off a vibration of negativity that no one wants to be around. So you may argue, people are just no use to me. It's when I'm down that I need the most. And then they just go scattering to the winds. It's easy to be friends with someone when I'm laughing and happy. But also, on the other hand of that, you do have to take a little bit of responsibility and say, am I letting myself go a little bit because I really am throwing a pity party for myself. I don't know about you guys, but in the opening of the door, I see the Virgin Mary in that shape. So maybe that's what this quote is all about, that in things that seem harsh and normal and mundane and difficult to navigate, you can see the magical and you can feel the, the will of the universe at work in your life, even when you're in this state of self-pity. If you open your eyes and look around, you will recognize that you are being carried Judgment, the crown of the sky, so the all-knowing creator, and it's an astrology wheel. How nice. The zodiac. The zodiac does tell us everything, especially the astrology chart. It shows us everything about why we're here, vocational aptitudes, love, everything. And that, the judgment card is about waking up to your true purpose 
And also, again, interesting that it's being mirrored in nature. We've got a lot of things mirroring or showing you the way. So it's a day of omens. You may see things. You may see a sign that just strangely applies to you. Or you may be driving and you may see a number plate over and over and over again. And you're just like, what's that about? Or people may say the same sentence over and over in different contexts. And you're just like, am I, am I meant to be hearing something today? Am I being told something? So the quote on this card is the universe is transformation. Our life is what our thoughts make it. I totally agree. What do you think about life? You make it. So that's where grace comes in because if you're negative and you're pitying yourself, what would happen is that your life becomes even harder. But because the universe is supporting you and carries you, it manifests wonderful things for you to be happy about again. Because if it was just up to us creating our own lives, all of us fall into a pit of sadness at times. And if there wasn't grace, then it would just create more and more and more pits for us to fall into, but that doesn't happen. Sometimes we're down, sometimes we're up, and we're always supported, and it's not just because of our thoughts. Our thoughts make a huge difference in the kind of life we create, but we're also supported by that grace of the universe. Finally, we have the chariot, which is you realizing that you have the power and you embrace that. And this card here, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. So be an innovator, be a leader, be an ideas person, you go and do it. Let go of the negativity, let yourself be transformed in the way you feel you ought to be transformed. Live in that state, allow it to grow inside of you, and then take the practical action to do something that comes from inside. Don't do something because the institution you're in has told you to do it, or you've read in a book how you ought to behave at this age, or society tells you that you're supposed to be doing something according to your gender. All of that is out the window. And the amazing thing that you've got today is that you have the potential and the option to have peace of mind and to wake up to your true purpose and then to put that into practical action. You're the expert. You have a lot of practical skills which you can really use to make things happen. The Imagine a man sees himself in this moon one night and it triggers the idea that build a hot air balloon. No one's ever done it before, but you need to do this. You'll be like, wow, that... Well, no one's ever done it before. How can I be a pioneer? I'm just little old me. But then he goes about sewing together this giant canvas. And he decides to put a uh, flame there to heat up the air inside the balloon. And he goes on a hot air balloon ride. And it's the first time in the world anyone's ever done that. And he leaves a trail for other people to walk down. So then it becomes really easy for other people to create hot air balloons and to do the same. But it's because that of that one man's physical, practical skill that we even got there. So don't underestimate your expertise today, your ability to get things done, to work in a practical sense to listen to your guidance and to translate that into physical, practical action. So today is a great day to figure out what to do 
for work and to complete your life purpose. If you're retired, it's a great day to let go of negativity and to be shown what you're meant to be doing at this point in your life. It's a really wonderful day to prove yourself if you have to and to demonstrate your practical skills and expertise. It's a great day to interview for new jobs and to present yourself because you really are on top of your game today in translating what you want to do into the practical. So if you have a manager who needs to observe you teaching a class and you're really designing a wonderful lesson today that you really think is going to be transformative for the for the people learning, then say, come observe this lesson and tick your boxes today because it's a good idea to do that. You really are on the top of your game today. Your anything practical that you decide to spend your time on that feels real and that feels important to you you'll really succeed in. The chariot is the seventh card of the major arcana. Judgment is the 20th, so we've got 27 and five. It's 32. And I think so, anyway. 25 and seven is 32, yeah. So three and two is five, and five is about freedom. And it's especially associated with freedom when it comes to making practical changes, innovating, being an ideas person, being a leader, and also freedom in your life purpose. What am I doing? What will bring me joy? What's the real me all about right now? And how can I grow? What's the next step? So if you're a student or retired or you're 40 and working, it really doesn't matter. You'll be shown what you ought to be doing and what really is going to give you a sense of fulfillment and joy and where you can really be a pioneer and add something of real value to the world. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology in my readings. Like I said here with this crown of the universe, the astrology chart really shows me everything about you. It's a blueprint of your soul. Vocational aptitudes, life purpose, love, career, finance, health, moving, where the best place is for you to live. I can answer any questions you may have. And I can use the predictive astrology and the tarot to have a look at what's coming up in future. So if you are interested in that, then please visit the website gregoryscott.com. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button and please share the video online. Have a great day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.